on the 3rd of April this year, we mentioned PC Swale Chowdhury. I think that's how you pronounce it. If it's not, who cares? PC Swale Chowdhury, a Metropolitan Police Constable, admitted secretly filming a woman in the changing rooms of Primark and keeping more than 1,000 sickening images of non-adults. The 36-year-old pedovert was caught out by the woman he was trying to upskirt when she heard a rustling and looked down to see a mobile phone camera pointing up at her from under the divide between the next cubicle. This happened in Southside Shopping Centre in Wandsworth, South London, in March. Police were called and while PC Swale Chowdhury was in custody, they searched his home in Wandsworth to find a library of abuse images. Wimbledon Magistrates Court were told that more than a thousand Category B and C images were, of children were uncovered on numerous devices as well as at least 52 images of the most serious kind, Category A. Prosecutor Suleiman Hussein said officers also found various videos of the defendant upskirting and the videos actually show the defendant's face. It is anticipated the defendant will be charged with further offences. After his appearance in March, Chowdhury was remanded in custody by Magistrate Tan Ikram and the case was sent to Kingston Crown Court for sentencing. Well, appearing at Kingston Crown Court on Friday last week, Chowdhury faced his sentencing at the hands of Judge Anne Brown. The court heard how a search of his home address found a number of electronic devices, including a USB storage device which held hundreds of disgusting and extremely distressing pornographic images that had been downloaded between 2011 and 2014. The court heard that these pictures and videos involved the abuse of young children and penetration of child victims by adults. Speaking in his defence, if there is a defence, Robert Morris said the, the incident was opportunistic and that his life now stands in ruin. Oh, 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 this sounds like another perfect opportunity to play the world's smallest violin again while we feel sorry for this cretinous fuckpick. Thankfully, Judge Anne Brown seems to have felt the same as I do about Chowdhury. Or did she? Let's find out together, shall we? Judge Anne Brown said, We've heard the victim's statement and the very serious impact this offence has had upon her and on her life. It was a nasty and disturbing offence and did in my judgment show a degree of planning on your behalf. You were some 15 minutes in that changing room. It has clearly left the victim with a deep sense of personal violation and fear. As a police officer at the time, the public would have rightly expected you to have a strong sense of duty to protect the public from criminal behaviour and to be someone who sought above all to uphold the law. You brought shame on yourself, your family and the police service that you represented by what you did. Images of the children concerned were vile and horrible and involved the abuse of young children, some of penetrative abuse by an adult of a child victim. It is a common sense approach for this court to take the approach that you would only have been well aware of the harm caused to these victims, of their crimes, the physical and psychological damage to child victims. She even noted that the probation report said that Chowdhury showed a surprising lack of victim empathy. Now, after all that was said and done, the judge, Anne Brown, explained her disgust for Chowdhury. She decided that due to the fact he'd already spent 16 weeks custody and remand, a further 10 months custodial would be uh, sufficient. And to be fair, although not a great length of time, a total of 14 months is better than a kick in the ghoulies. Oh, wait, no, wait, what? Suspended. 10 further months suspended for 18 months. Chowdhury was also ordered to complete rehabilitation activity requirement for 35 days, attend the Horizon programme for sex offenders for 27 days. He'd been given a sexual harm prevention order as well as complete 100 hours of unpaid work 
and be placed on the College of Policing's barred list. Uh, sorry, I mean the Sex Offenders Register. For some reason I keep getting them too confused. For 10 years. Now that sounds like a lot of punishment, but in reality it's naff all. And of course he deserves to be swinging. But for the judge to say what she said, how disgusted she was, how serious it was, only to let him walk out of the court, a free, ultimately a free man, is absolutely disgusting. Whether he spent 14 weeks or whatever it was in prison, I don't, you know, makes no difference on remand, as far as I'm concerned. But there you go, that's just me. Let me know what you think in the comments.